You might have used many terminals in your Windows, Mac, or Linux operating system. But now, the trend is towards the intelligent terminal. So this is what we are going to be discussing in today's video. We are going to talk about this intelligent terminal called as Warp, which is going to make our life more easier than compared to how we were using these terminals before. Like this one, as you can see over here. I've been using this for a long time, and I use along with the uh, plugin called as Amazon Q Developer, which will give, you, give me the ability to uh, auto complete and auto suggestions and show me the directories and things for example if i just go and uh, do a tryout you can see that i get the folder as tryout and then it shows me all the different folders beneath it and also if i wanted to uh, do a docker command i can just say uh, docker and you see that i get the inspect compose kills and th things of that nature so it gives me all those details similarly i can also do a docker run and then it shows me the details and if i want to use the olama for example uh, something like this and if I just say uh, list it's, it's gonna show me the command and if I want to do a run it shows me all the different model that I have got over here within my local machine so these are things which I can use with this terminal which is amazing and this is all happening because of the Amazon Q developer which is uh, this one as you can see over here and I've already talked about that in our earlier video if you really not watch it I will just put the details in the link below you can watch that one as well but today we're going to talk about a level further to not just giving the auto suggestions and a bit of a detail, but to go beyond this particular auto suggestion with an intelligent terminal, which is this one, the VARP terminal. So the VARP terminals will help you do a lot of different operations just by the plain English text. While I say just by the plain English text, you can just type uh, any one of the command using your natural language and then it is going to do things for you. For example, if you have a uh, git uh, checked in code and if you want to commit your code, you just can say that go and commit this code, it is going to go and commit the code for you. Or maybe if you want to take the, uh, the code based on this particular commit ID, you can also do that and everything is going to happen based on this command line that you can see. And also you can do coding and also you can ask the suggestions uh, like auto suggestions and everything pretty much like an IDE, like a Visual Studio Code or the Cursor IDE, you can do everything from this particular uh, terminal itself, the VOP terminal that I'm talking about. So I'll quickly show you how this actually works uh, in a real time, rather just showing you from the uh, from the website over here. So first of all, you need to download this uh, VARP terminal over here. If you're using Mac, you can do it from here. You can also do it from the Brew if you do have Brew. If you have Windows operating system, you can also do that from there as well. Uh, so I'm just going to open the uh, VARP terminal. I have the VARP preview as well because it has got some features which currently the warp doesn't have all right so now that i have got my warp terminal over here as you can see this is the uh this is the code which i'm actually using for my uh mcp playwright server and i wanted to see what are the code which has been checked in uh in this commit uh, and what are the code which has been checked in in my last commit so if i want to do that i need to do a git uh, and then I need to do a com uh, commit and then I need to compare and see how things work, right? So those things, I don't really have to do it. Rather, I can ask everything using the natural language. You see that there is an arrow over here. It is actually an agent mode. So if you just go and click this agent mode, it is going to show you the auto there, which means by default, the model is chosen based on the task that you are going to give in. But if you are going to be doing a complex task, you can also choose a specific model. But based on the command that you're going to work with, the models are going to be chosen. So this is the auto model, which is the best for the uh, task that you're going to be doing. There are light models, and there is this Claude 3.7 model, uh, 3.5, GPT-4.0, 4.1, and you see that Gemini 2.5 Pro is also available over here. So you can use any of these model uh, to perform the operation that you're looking for. So for instance, if I want to ask like, what are the, and see that the, the moment I type what are is going to change uh, the actual uh, mode from the, uh, the command mode uh, to the auto mode, which means now it is ready to accept the uh, plain English text and convert it into uh, AI based operation. So that is what is going to happen over here. So I'm going to say, what are the commits I have made in this or what are the changes that I have made in this commit? Sorry. So I'm going to say, what are the uh, changes I have made in this commit? And if I hit enter, you see that now uh, this guy is going to go and see the git no pager diff head. 
Uh, and then it is going to go and verify all of these operations one by one. It's going to go do all these operations for me. And look at that. These are changes. It is going to show me that the change has really happened. And now it's also telling me that this commit has uh, the changes of the uh, this particular file, uh, the docs of readme file, added a new section for the version, documentation removed, and package.json file has been updated. And these changes are, are happening over here, which is amazing. So everything is showing me over there. If I want to ask, uh, can you compare the uh, current commit with uh, my earlier commit and if i hit enter now it's going to do a comparison with two commits and then it's going to tell me what exactly is going on over there so that change is also going to be shown you over here so these are things that you can actually do using the natural language and everything is going to be done using this warp ide well as i said i'm also going to quickly show you how you can use the warp terminal for uh, for the docker operation for that matter so i'm going to say i wanted to connect uh, with the docker uh, desktop and uh, try to pull uh, or maybe try to uh, open a postgres uh, sql and uh, perform a database creation uh, with a username uh, sorry with the user table maybe you can just say user table uh, and then uh, work history salary address um, and maybe uh, we can just say his uh, security uh, details right i'm just gonna say this one and the moment i do this you can see that now the warp terminal is so intelligent that it is going to go and say that okay i want to connect to the docker desktop so i need to first of all open the docker desktop and then perform all these operations so you see that now it's telling me that the docker um we need to first of all start the docker and the docker is currently not running so please start the docker desktop so that i can perform all these different operations so it has already created a plan of what it has to do but first of all, we need to give the access to the Docker desktop to be uh, opened. So I'm going to open the Docker desktop within my machine. And the moment I run the Docker desktop, and now if I just say try again now over here, uh, you will notice that uh, this guy is going to check if the Docker is running. And you see that the Docker is running. So it is now going to do a connectivity to the Postgres SQL database because we already have the Postgres uh, database uh, up and running. So if I just go to the uh, container over here, look at that. The container is there and it is now running. So because we have the image there, so that's the reason why the container is running. And now I'm going to just execute the uh, the command which it is going to do see that it's going to create an, a database called as employee management uh, and it is allowing asking me to to uh, to hit run see that we are still the human is still in loop to make this operation and now it's going to create the table for the user address uh, work history salary uh, security details uh, and things of that nature it's also adding the indexes for better performance look at that uh, so now once we have everything i'm going to just hit run and you can see that it is going to uh, run these uh, command for me over there. And now the table has been created. And look at that. Everything is now created and the database is already there in place for us in our uh, database uh, in the container that we have got. So I can also say, can you also um, inject some uh, data for all the tables? And when I say that, it's going to go and inject the data uh, into the database table. So this is quite amazing. We can see that these are things which is which were not there before, uh, which were not possible before uh, with a single command. Uh, now we can do everything using the power of AI uh, and with the power of all this, uh, with the tooling support, we could be able to achieve all this operation on our real uh, devices, which is our real machines to perform these operations. Pretty much like the GitHub Copilot, but just that it is going to be uh, doing it on the uh, actual um, actual systems look at that so now we have all these informations over here i'm going to hit run and this is going to inject the data for me on that particular table that is amazing and as i told you we also have got the power of the mcp servers uh, to be connected with the warp uh, terminal as well so i have already connected some 
MCP server over here. Look at that. So in the in the MCP server, I have got my Playwright MCP server uh, configured, as you can see. So if I just gonna go and hit the edit, uh, you can see that we have got the uh, let it be running there. Uh, let me just make this bigger. You see that there is this Playwright MCP server I have configured. Uh, from the Exit Automation GitHub repository, uh, and it is doing things. So if I just gonna go, uh, and if you see the configuration uh, for the MCP Playwright uh, server, which is going to be this one, as you can see over here, this is exactly the same thing that I have put over here as well. And it is configured for me uh, to work with the uh, warp terminal. And you see that all the toolings are listed over here, which means it is currently up and running, which is amazing. So now we can actually do the exact same thing. We can actually call the um, call the warp terminal to run the Playwright MCP server as well. So if I'm going to say, uh, can you uh, navigate uh, to uh, google.com and search for... Um, uh, execute uh, maybe search for yeah MCP server of uh, execute automation and if I hit enter now look at that what's going to happen right now it's it's going to call the toolings which is the playwright MCP server for me and it's going to go and navigate to the google.com as you can see it's, it's amazing it's already doing that and once I hit run it's going to open the browser and now it's going to navigate to the google website uh, and there is another tool is going to be called which is going to be the uh, which is the fill command and it is going to fill uh, the uh, the things for me which is going to be mcp server of exit automation and it's going to do things for me over there so this is how you can see that the mcp servers are going to be called and it's going to be performing all the operation pretty much like the github copilot or the cursor ide we can do all these operation even with the warp terminal so now we can see that the terminals are really getting intelligent. Now we don't even necessarily have to remember most of the command, which are already forgetting using all this AI tooling. And this terminal is going a level further uh, and it is doing things for me uh, as well over here. See that? The magic is just uh, keep on extending over there and keep doing it. So this is how we can see that we can use the WAP terminal and I'm sure this is quite exciting. You can even use most of the operation of the free uh, tier operation. But if you really want to purchase the uh, the WAP terminal, just follow the link below. You can also click that link for the application. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.